zeroth experiment, measuring instruments. In this experiment, we are going to introduce some frequently used circuit elements. A resistor, a capacitor, a galvanometer, and a power supply are examples. On this board, slots lying on colored lines are interconnected. This is a multimeter. We can measure resistance, current, and potential difference with this instrument. We need to use this part for measuring resistance. We use this part measuring potential difference in DC circuits and this part for measuring current in DC circuits. Let us now measure the resistance of a resistor. First, we adjust the multimeter. We see on the display where each cable should be connected. The value of the resistance is also seen on the display. The error of the multimeter is 1% of the range used. Now let us make a voltage measurement. First, we adjust the multimeter. We adjust the power supply to an arbitrary voltage. We now connect the cables as indicated on the display. We should connect the black cable to low potential terminal and the red one to high potential terminal. Now let us make the same measurement in different ranges. We cannot measure the voltage in ranges lower than the power supply output. We observe decreasing precision as the range becomes larger. Now let us set up a simple DC circuit and measure the current flowing through the circuit. We connect the multimeter in the manner indicated on its display. We try to measure the current flowing in all ranges. We observe which ranges are suitable for measurement and which ones are not, and which one is the most precise. Since the current flowing is larger than 200 microamperes and 2 milliamperes, we cannot measure the current using these ranges. Now let us record those measurements with the corresponding errors.